All right, so I have FX Home Vision Lab Studio open. You're gonna have Effects Lab, but it's okay. They're pretty similar. First, obviously, to have a muzzle flash, you need footage of someone shooting a gun. So I select Movie and find myself shooting a gun, which is right there. Okay. Once I open, the project file, project settings will come up. Well, if they're like this, it's good. You want scan method progressive. Alright, you click OK. And slow computer. Okay, so here we go. We have our nice shot. So I can click the space bar and it starts to move. Or I can click the right arrow key and it goes keyframe by keyframe. I'm not sure how much of a beginner you are, but each of these little um, bars are keyframes. That's like 0.3 of a second. If you click the right arrow key, you go one by one. If you click spacebar, it plays. So I'm going to play my movie, or I can just skip to the part where my actor, also known as me, is shooting the gun. So here he is. I have the gun in my hand, right there, it's moving, it's moving, hold on. Sorry about that, slight technical difficulties. So I continue until the part where I have my recoil, right, you see I have the gun in my hand and then all of a sudden my hand goes up, that's because I shot the gun and has a kick. Okay. What we want to do now is click Effect. Okay? In Effects Lab, you're not going to have this grayed object area, but you will have the muzzle flashes, neon light, optics, and particles sections. What we want to do is click Muzzle Flashes. This opens up a whole array of presets. You should have these. Alright. Um, but I'm going to assume you don't, just to be sick double click on muzzle flashes okay this instantly creates a muzzle flash on your movie but we notice a few things one it's way too big two doesn't look that great and three it's not where it should be so let's start with the size issue if you click flash attributes under your muzzle flash uh, tab on the bottom left Right, you see here, the blue is your movie, the per uh, pink is your muzzle flash. Okay, so flash attributes. Now you get all these. I'm not going to explain all this in detail. It's going to take way too long. But what we want right now is the scale. That tells you how big it is. So you can click on it and write 0 0.5, although we're going to need smaller, so 0 0.3, or you can drag it with your uh, mouse. Although my computer is freezing right now. Let's give it a second. Okay. So let's say 0 0.2. Ugh, sorry. There we go. 0 0.2. Now, you will see also a blue circle and a green circle within. Inside the green circle is a square. What you want is to take the square and drag it to where your gun is. Okay? Easily enough. But make sure your timeline indicator is on the first frame of the muzzle flash. This purple thing tells you how many frames your muzzle flash lasts. Okay? And each frame, your muzzle flash is still there. But you want it to be, on the first frame it gets there, to be in the correct position because that means that all the next frames will be in that position as well. So, now we have the right size, the right position, but there's one more thing. You'll notice that the muzzle flash is pointing the wrong way. What you want to do is drag the X to the opposite side. Alright. Um, okay, once again, technical difficulties. But, now the muzzle flash is in the correct position, facing the right way, and is the right size. Only thing, there's only two things left. One, 
it doesn't look so good. If you see the uh, area called Texture Browser, you will see a Import Texture folder. Clicking on that opens a window where you're able to import all sorts of textures. What is a texture? Well, it's a little image that the muzzle flash is basically made out of. If it doesn't open automatically to your textures folder, how you get there is you go to whatever, get to your documents, click FX Home, then you'll see Effects Lab, but it's the same thing, Vision Lab, I click, then you go to the Media folder, and then the textures. Simple enough. So, you scroll down until you find a good one. I'm going to pick the Mm, the real flame textures. Okay, they look pretty good. So I click one, control, click the other. I get both. You can do it one at a time, whatever. Click open. Suddenly, our muzzle flash is looking quite different. Uh, that wasn't my bad. Right, our muzzle flash looks pretty, mm, pretty nice. Sorry, what I did there was, as I said before, I wasn't working on the first Cree frame, which messed things up. Now I am, because I cut it, so it's fine. Anyway, our muzzle flash looks pretty different, but it still looks kind of pale, not so nice. So you click here. This area here tells you the color of your muzzle flash. Right now it's like a pale peach. Eh, not so nice. We want it more intense. So we click on it, opens up a color picker. You can drag it around, or just pick a color. I'm gonna do this nice little orange for now. Ooh, right, right there, very nice. Then we go all the way down to the muzzle glow. The muzzle flash, what we did above, was the actual emission from the gun. The muzzle glow is the glow that comes around it. You always want a glow, but if you don't, the radius, in brackets, pixels, tells you how much of a glow there's gonna be. Zero is nothing. A thousand is the full screen. We're going to make it a little bit smaller, say 65, and change it because you don't want you want almost the same color glow. You don't want a green muzzle flash or like an alien gun and a red glow. Well, you might if it was an alien gun, but we're going to put it to orange. Now all of a sudden, wow, something's going on. The only problem is it's a muzzle flash. Okay? Flash. Not a muzzle stay in my movie for a while. Okay, see how it's staying there as I'm moving the keyframes? We don't want that. So you select this tool, the crop. You're probably by default going to be on the pointer, but you want the crop. And you click on the end, and you drag it. It will show you a preview of what it's looking like to only one or two frames. I'm going to do two for now. And then, then you uh, go back a bit, click space, and watch it pretty good, right? Right there you have a simple muzzle flash. Um, don't forget to save. I'm going to save it as tutorial. And that's it. You now have a muzzle flash. Right? You can just keep watching that and it's, it's nice. If you follow these directions, you'll have a muzzle flash in no time. Okay, ignore the background noise. Um, so once you've done all that, you're going to want to put uh, render your movie. Hopefully you figured that out by now. If you haven't, I'll do another tutorial. Um, put it into Windows Movie Maker. Find the exact spot where the muzzle flash starts and put in a gunshot sound. Produce that and you're done.